a very good morning my dear family members dear friends please like share and subscribe dear friends as the month of june is dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus and also today as we celebrate the feast of the most sacred heart of jesus let us pray the prayer given below with meaning and devotion prayer to the sacred heart of jesus O most holy heart of Jesus, O fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Amen. My dear friends, by clicking the like, share and subscribe buttons, we proclaim, praise, worship and glorify the Triune God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Triune God will embrace the entire world. Peace, joy and healing may be felt by everyone. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections June 16, 2023, Friday, Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verses 6 to 11. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth, to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sown your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. But who repays with the destruction a person who hates him, he does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Your response. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with the kindness and compassion. Your response, the Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Your response, the Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of John, chapter 4, verses 7 to 16. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. 
everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor, and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In today's gospel reading from Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 30, we hear Jesus calling us again and again to make a response. Come unto me, he calls. All that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Come unto me. God takes the initiative to call us to himself. God through the prophet Isaiah calls out, Come, all who are thirsty, come to the waters. You who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and and milk without money and without cost. God's grace is free. Come, those who have no money and buy without money. Dear friends, 
Saint Paul says, "We cannot know God without being known of God first." He calls us again and again because he loves us. This is what the prophet Hosea tells us. Hosea chapter 11 is one of the greatest chapters in the Old Testament. A very moving chapter. God is saying, when Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt I called my son. but the more i called israel the further they went from me it was i who taught ephraim to walk taking him by the arms but they did not realize it was i who healed them i led them with the cords of human kindness with the ties of love I lifted the yoke from their neck and bent down to feel them. I will not carry out my fierce anger nor devastate a frame again for I am God not a human the holy one among you. God loves Israel as his child. there is sadness and sorrow in god's voice it is god's love which compels him to call us back again and again come unto me god's call is addressed to a particular group of people come unto me all who are thirsty who are hungry and all that labor and are heavy laden dear friends only a sick person will feel the need for a physician only one who is thirsty will feel the need for a drink only one who is hungry will feel the need to eat food for the son of man came to seek and to save these who are lost my dear family of mother mary's protection jesus is calling each one of us today with so much of love and concern as we are all wearied and overburdened so that we may be strengthened and refreshed for our tasks of evangelization and catechesis he strengthens us to do our responsibilities well let us go to jesus for he will help us to be free of our anxiety struggles sickness sadness and problems that we face in our day to day life journey prayer heavenly father thank you for your word which guides me through life and directs me in the way i should go thank you that you give me true rest for my soul and perfect peace in my heart and that in the midst of any storm your peace that passes human understanding remains look with mercy on those who have not yet come to you for salvation and convict their hearts of their need to come to you and trust in your redemptive blood for the forgiveness of sin we ask all these things through the intercession of mary the mother of jesus and in the name of your son jesus christ who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen dear friends please like share and subscribe thanks for watching god bless you sacred heart of jesus i adore you and i love you happy feast 
my dear friends